It's time to clean Canterbury's ear, which means clamping down on log burners. We think now, I mean it's three years, four years down the track, it's time for us to actually tighten up on the enforcement side of things. Something Environment Canterbury hasn't been enforcing since local homes were devastated by the February earthquake. Um, we we realised that... Um, that you know, there were thousands of people out there who were in, in a devastated position and the last thing they needed was to be hammered over, over um, whether or not their, their, their fires were um, not quite as clean as they could be. So we took a pretty light-handed approach. Homes in Canterbury haven't been able to install a log burner since regulation changes came into play in 2002. Central government and ratepayer money was spent to instil clean heating into homes instead, with the hopes of reducing the number of nights that harmful quantities of dangerous particles called PM10 were in the air. By 2020, ECAN hopes those nights would be down from the current 15 to just one. Current projections are that flash. We're not actually going to make it. ECAN is hoping to crack down and change the culture of those still using wood burners to use them in an efficient and clean way. Existing wood burners um, are, are capable of producing a reasonably good result, but only if they're operated properly and only if dry wood is burnt. They're currently in the process of reviewing the air plan program, which was introduced in 2002, looking at what has worked and what needs improving. There'll be a lot of consultation. People will be able to make submissions on that as it goes through that process. There are, as you probably know, some quite divergent views on, on whether wood burning is good or bad. Letters have been sent to 8,000 people who still have a log burner in their home and inspectors will be using infrared screening throughout the winter months to monitor those homes. Emma Cropper, CTV News.